How's it going, Odd People? Welcome to the Odd People Podcast. What's up? I'm Matt. We have... Jared the Jared. Jared the Jared. <laughs> and we have a special guest. Yes, we do. On the show. He is my button club partner. He is my brother from another mother. He is the famous Ryan V. What's up, my What's man? What's up, my Ryan friends? V. How are we Thank doing? you for joining Ryan us. V. Thank you for having me. This is super cool. A yeah. roaring applause. Yeah. Applause. <laughs> yeah, we'll edit that in. A yeah, like, bunch of yes. screaming and clapping. Thank you, my yeah, fans. There we go. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, hi, Ryan. Hey, man. Hey, Matt. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> it's going good. It's been a while. How you been? I've been great, dude. Cool. Things are Things are happening. You know, nice. life's... Uh, you know, always taking us down different paths that we might not have anticipated, and that's kind of the beauty of it. That's what that's we're living it, in right man. now. That's it. Nice. So you True. want to give us like a little light yeah, introduction yeah. For, the, of, for the people that okay, don't know you. of what you do. He's a business owner. Yes. Tell us what you, yes. what you got. Well, everything I do involves my wife, as you know. She's yep. my, my PIC, my partner in crime. <laughs> so <laughs> together, um, yeah, we are small business owners. I'm a full-time tattoo artist. Um uh, we opened up Famous Tattoos in 2013, so I've been tattooing there for over 10 years. Ten been tattooing years, for man. 20 years. 10 years. Wow. Yeah, you're the end of 03, years. the beginning of 04 is when I started. Oh, you've been tattooing for 20. Yeah. Wow, man. That's wild. Yeah, it was like shortly after high school. Wow. Two years after high school, I started tattooing. So that's crazy. And you did move to Staten Island, right? I moved for to Long Island, Island oh, for Long a year. Island. Yeah, yeah. I um, Alicia was working for a tattoo supply company. In Rhode Island. Oh, okay. That's and right, she yeah. was going to help out at a convention. So I went and tagged along and I got to meet an artist that I was looking up to a lot at the time. His name is Angelo. Nice. Okay. Uh, he had portrait, like how to DVD sets out that I had watched and purchased. So I walked up to him. I was like, hey, man, I've loved your DVDs. I've been learning so much. Here's some of my portraits. Can you critique them for me and help me out? And he actually liked them so much that we exchanged information. Mm. And like, I want to say a few months later, he posted up on Facebook that he was looking for a full-time artist. So Alicia brought it up to me That's and crazy, she was down. Man. If she was not with me i don't think i would have made that move by myself it's a big move it's a big move yeah, yeah. That's, that's a lot distance. to consider a lot to think about i didn't think she'd be so willing her, her her family's here her friends but she's like no let's get out of fall river and i was like well i'm with that let's go so man, we everybody, up there for everybody's a main goal is get out of get fall out river. Fall. <laughs> yeah dude if you're in fall river do your best to get out just get that's out of my there. only yeah. advice yeah just get out of there, so. yeah i agree with that that's how i ended up here yeah, yeah. <laughs> is that because we were talking about we were it talking about on our it. way here? It's like what made him? This is where oh, you don't have to disclose it for your fans, right? You don't want them. Oh, you know, when we're we're born, I think I've talked about oh, it this before. Is okay. Yeah, yeah, we're born I technically like, Buzzards Bay. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, but I mean, I I got a job out in Yarmouth, which is like when I first started working out there, I was driving an hour one way to work from Fall River, so I was like. Uh, it looks like I'm staying at this job yeah. and not moving on to do anything else. So let's find somewhere like halfway. So it's not such a hike to go see family. Yep, yeah. Yep. And it's not like I'm wasting two hours a day driving yeah, to work. It's a lot. That adds yeah. a lot to the eight hour day or <clears throat> 10 hour day. If yeah, you're working yeah. overtime. So yeah. yeah so it's crazy. Good yeah. Time. And then after we moved back from Long Island, I was like, okay, <clears throat> I'm done working for, people that I learned more from their failures than their successes. <laughs> and if I'm going to work for anyone that's screwing around and, and making, making a mess, it should be me. So yeah. <laughs> that's what we did. So nice. how do you, how do you like after 20 years of doing it, how do you, how do you feel? Like, do you, do you still feel like, um, like you're out for something to like to prove something or do you feel like you're just comfortable with your artwork that you just like, when you just take care of people who want to get tattooed with your style and like that's basically what yeah, it is you're just yeah. kind of like floating through right i've now. really honed in found on yourself found your style exactly yeah. and what i want to do and i'm in a spot now where i can just accept the work that i want i don't have to which sometimes i still end up accepting work that i'm not really that interested in or yeah. alicia will will be like yeah. yeah we can get them in and stuff um but yeah i i'm, I'm kind of cruising right now i have a way of a formula of putting my artwork together for the tattoos and 
I'm in a spot when with my artwork now that I don't have to fully render anything to know how it's going to go. I can get work off the lines and go, I know exactly what I'm going to do here. And anything that nice. I don't know now, when I figure it out in the process, that'll be that like, ooh, that beautiful discovery yeah. moment. Yeah, kind of nice. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah and you prim primarily do like black and gray, right? Like yeah. that's your Yeah, if I'm doing butter. big custom work, it's black and gray. I vary a little bit on realism or um, I, I do some traditional work also, yeah. but I like tattoos that I can feel make look real, but last the test of time and not nice. fade away and look weak on the body after time. So there's still like a little bit of tattoo practical application in there, but yeah, that's awesome. It's awesome. Yeah, man. And it's painless for me. <laughs> yeah. Well, exactly. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. The last tattoo you gave me, I was like, this is fantastic. It was that raven on my leg. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And I was like, wow, this is really yeah. probably the most, <laughs> it's kind of a weird thing to say, most pleasurable tattoo I've ever gotten. Oh, nice. Yeah. Where it was the least Didn't painful. Yeah. yeah, I was like, well, it's irritating because it's a tattoo, but yeah, yeah. Yeah. I wasn't, you know, it wasn't the old days of having the old oh. school machines with the guy's got a heavy hand. Yeah. And they're digging into you and you're like, oh, oh yeah. God. No. Those heavy handers are still out there, though. So. They're still out there. Oh, yeah. Because I've been tattooed fire. by them also. And <laughs> yeah. yeah, the old school machines that yeah, are just man. hammering away. Or even like I went and got tattooed by someone that I was looking up to at the time. And so I trusted them with a tattoo on my inner bicep. And they were using the new school rotary machines that I use, quiet yeah. and, and things like that, lightweight. And, uh, yeah so i'm like this guy should know what he's doing he had good artwork and he's got all these machines and we talk shop and stuff and then when he tattooed my inner bicep he scarred me Ugh. and it hurt obviously a lot and i'm like well you know it is what it is your inner bicep you knew it was going to be sore but yeah yeah I, i've got like scar tissue on my inside arm so you know always when you're looking up for your own artists, not all tattoo artists are created equal. That needs to be said and understood. <laughs> really yeah, do your homework. Sure. Don't just think because they do tattoos or they own a studio that they're great. Really yeah. look at the work. Because when someone comes into the studio and I say, well, have you seen my work online? They say, no. I say, well, what are you doing here? Yeah. You right. should be doing that your homework. That sounds home. insane. I, yeah. I might not be the guy for you. You have no idea, yeah. you know. Or you look at the tattoos and you say, oh, he does this style of work. That's great. He should be able to do, you know, B and C. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. You know, I wouldn't consider myself a lettering guy or do I have any interest in doing you know, big poems on people and things like that. So, <laughs> yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, that would suck. We all have our niche. I would probably, I mean, I haven't ta touched a tattoo machine in a very long time, but I would have never in a thousand years done lettering. Really? And I think I did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, A couple yeah. of times and yeah. it was just like kind of thing where it was sketchy at best it's not yeah. fun well everything i did was sketchy <laughs> <laughs> everything he does is sketched where's all the cameras hey, hey. um so uh he's been a guest on your show previously yes, yes. correct yes, yes. a long say, time ago he yeah. was humble beginnings yeah you guys yeah. knew each other before i got here one of the uh one of the first guests of the show that was um you know like an old acquaintance and i'm like yeah I need cool people to be on my show. I'm going to yeah, ask yeah. Ryan. Yeah. Yeah, it was cool. We went to the shop. Yeah, we did it in my booth. Did it right in your booth. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, Alicia did a cool oh, time-lapse video. and. That's right. Yeah, yeah that's it was right. Cool. It was cool. It was a good hangout. Yeah, I did listen to the audio. I didn't know there was a some some video. I'll yeah, it, it, it was just a time-lapse. It was oh, just yeah. like, yeah. yeah it was oh, a, cool, cool, cool. It was a quick time-lapse. There was no video back then. It was good. It's a good time. Well, so, damn, man. Look at you now. So we have our normal um, schedule of things we talk about. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And I always ask Jared about Button Club, like, the previous week. So why don't you guys t <laughs> just tell us about Button Club? <laughs> Do a little Button Club. Or uh, I'd, I'd, I'd like to know how the idea came about between you guys. Of oh, wow. When, when the decision was made. Like, it's a fun story. Yeah. Um, literally, uh... We used to go out in Taunton to a place called Platinum City Gaming um, to be part of the TC Traveling Controller with Dan. And, um, oh, yeah. And you also had Dan on the <laughs> yes, show, too. That's actually. right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah. So um, things kind of went, you know, a little sour there. So we ended up packing up and leaving. And then we had nothing at all. And uh, we just, I would go to Ryan's and we'd play Street Fighter and for hours. And that was it. Yep. Um, and then one day I was driving by this local card tabletop store and i was like you know what i'm just gonna go in there and ask him if there's any day of the week that he needs help or is like empty and yeah because all we needed was the tables and chairs and that was it no you just so, needed a space yeah, yeah so it. i went in there and i was like i didn't even talk to him actually dan was uh oh the owner of the 
armory is also named Dan. Different Dan. Dan. Different okay. Dan. <laughs> um, but he was sitting at one of the tables, and I think I was talking to his son. And he overheard me talking to his son, and he stood right up and came over, and he was like, Mondays. You can, you can take Mondays. <laughs> like, please, like, take Mondays. So um, he showed me our space where we would be. And I was like, oh, shit. Like, and you're I, like, this wallpaper works. Yeah, like, I, I got back in my car, and I was like, well, that was fucking easy. And I called right. Ryan right away. He was about to tattoo, and so I only had like five minutes with him. And I'm like, bro, we're going to do things. We're going to change some <laughs> shit. It blew me away. Yeah. I melted. I remember just having not like a mediocre day, but just kind of, okay, we're going through it. And then when he called me with that news, it, it changed the whole day for me. I got super hype, yeah. and I, I just couldn't believe that he went out and did it. Because what PCG was is a small portion of what button club is now, but there was like good friends and camaraderie and competition right. and mm -hmm. meeting new people. So we were both expanding our friend group. And when that went away, because you know, certain relationships went South, I, I felt with the lack of better, I felt lost. And like I had, yeah. like I was missing out on something. There were times we were going up to Boston just to kind of have a place to play and be with my people again. And those nights felt so good. Yeah, but on the ride home felt so bad because I I had to travel two plus hours just to be with my people amongst Jeez. the scene and 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 be engrossed in what I'm trying to uh, get better at. And Jared, from the beginning, his first few weeks at at PCG was like, we could do this, we could so do this. All we need to do is this, this, and that <laughs> because yeah. it, cause it was so bad. Oh, really? It was so bad. <laughs> it wasn't. It was suboptimal. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. So it was like thrown together, like yeah. just kind of not organized, or I just, in in our opinions, yes. Yeah. You know, yeah. I knew. Yeah. Without he knew that things people. could be done better. That's yeah. the thing. Like oh, okay. not only like could we could so do this, but we could do it better on our own. Um, terms yeah on our own terms with our own quality assurance and really make yeah. this into something and that's yeah. exactly what's happened honestly. yeah it's it's really grown from what you know yeah what i've seen from following you guys and just yeah. hearing it from him the discord's blown up we got a lot of people in there i think the max people we've had at tournaments like 20 people yeah. which is a lot for, a, for small a, venue yeah. a small room small room and yeah, a new tournament series we're we're less than a year may makes a year for button club wow and cool. all that we've have accumulated even through the YouTube channel, you know, over sixteen hundred subscribers, so many wow. content. Yeah, Our yeah. first unboxing video has over like oh, almost wow, thirty thousand yeah. views on it. Holy cow, you really? know, so like yeah. things wow, have really amazing. blown up and we need the, to start unboxing things. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I don't it's know a, what it would be. It is the easy I mean, it, being odd people, it could literally be anything. It could be. <laughs> yeah. It, could be. it really gets people yeah. in the door because I've always wanted to get into streaming and I'm doing that more so now, but I have the platform to do that yeah. because there's so many eyes on the channel where otherwise I'd be streaming for, you know, button club yeah. people or whatever. But when you have 1600 people that are willing to watch your other content, yeah. now what we get for views is, you know, almost a hundred views or a little bit over on some of the streams, wow. which is a yeah. great start. It pales into comparison to the product content. But yeah, but we still. wouldn't have that without that there too. Right. So. Wow, that's yeah, wild. For sure, we just keep running it and keep making moves, just like me and you are doing. Yeah. You know, yeah. just keep making the moves and and just let it happen naturally. It's and beautiful. Yeah. It's it beautiful always thing. does. If you're putting in the effort and you're putting in the time, it always happens. Mm -hmm. Jared has a way of uh, seeing potential in things. Yes, <laughs> there's a reason he's the co-host. Is <laughs> you know when I decided to have a co-host. I, you know, I made a list in my mind of who, you know, oh, previous cool. guests, friends, people that I would want to have on. Yeah, yeah. And he's only an acquaintance at that point. Mm, and yeah. I think you were suggested to have him on. I think all. so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And um, he was one of the few people that came into the studio and was like, yeah, let's do it. Like, he was so enthusiastic. So he is. And he's like, so yeah, fun. man, let's get this going. Let's do this. And I'm like, hey, I, I have an idea for some merch. And he draws, you know, the logo. Yeah. And I'm like, geez. His enthusiasm is contagious. And <laughs> oh, thanks, guys. When, Stop it. You're making me broke. <laughs> he's such a good, genuine person that when he tells you something, if you were to be like, oh, yeah, cool, whatever, and you dismiss his input, you're fucking up because right. if he's telling you, it's because he feels it and he cares. So anything wow. that we've implemented through Button Club, <laughs> my personal life, and I know here, like, 
Yeah. He's an absolute gem. Oh, God. He is. He's Come a good on. Man. I'm leaving. I'm this, leaving. Yeah. This, I'm this, is, this is actually, we're flipping the script. This is me and Matt interviewing you now. Yeah, what the hell's going so on? amazing. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. I just, you know, I like you said, I, I, when I see potential, I just want to just full blast on it and just go for the goal, you know, and it always comes. And I think that's just how it should go. Like if you're into something and you want to push something, do it, just do it. No one's yep. stopping you there. You have everything in the palm of your hand, right? Mm-hmm. On your phone. Yeah. You can literally do anything and start anything or make anything. Like it's crazy. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's the time that we live in. And I, I think everyone should take <laughs> advantage of it. Yeah. Before it all goes away. That's it. It's from, know, a, from a nuclear bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Growing up as a kid was wicked into music and um, had a, a cousin who was blind, right? Well, not had, oh, wow. past. I have a cousin who's blind. His <laughs> okay. name is Nathan. And um, he lived in Ohio and he would come to my grandmother's house for the summers or certain holidays. And right. our thing was to play radio. So we would do things like this. We, we yeah. had a, a set of headphones that if you plug into the microphone jack, the left ear it acts as a microphone. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we had tapes of things that we would record yeah. our shows, talking, playing music, giving <laughs> feedback. So yeah, the yeah. fact that podcasts are where they're at, at for our generation yeah. is, oh, it's is totally awesome. That. It's yeah. kind of like <laughs> seeing the future or building for these yeah. moments with that. Yeah. It's really, really cool. That's so interesting. I think too. I did the same thing with my cousin too, yeah. which is his birthday today. Oh, that's cool. Or, happy birthday. Cousin. Happy birthday, Danny. <laughs> I was going to say, I think I remember you saying something really similar. Yeah. That. We used to do a lot of that stuff we used to like, and my dad had one of those old camcorders with the tape in it yeah. and we would do that we would set it up and you know pretend that we were like in wayne's world and shit and we would yeah, like do these yeah. stupid things yeah, and yeah, yeah. have fake advertisements yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, just sure, yeah. really crazy stuff that's so interesting too because like i'm kind of like the next step below you guys yeah, yeah. and instead of doing the whole podcast thing we <clears throat> we were kind of like on that next step over where we would do like a lot of the stop motion films we would film like our action figures and like oh wow move them slowly and then you play it back and it's yeah, like yeah. a full on like movie that wow. was our thing me and my oh, brothers that's, cool. that's what we used to do so that's what's next then yeah <laughs> stop motion animation company a lot of people yeah <laughs> let's dude. go we'll make it just like kablam kablam oh. <laughs> nice <laughs> yeah that man is. so um another thing we uh talk about every week is movies. what movies we've watched going to throw the movies out there bro yeah let's talk about let's why not it. why not you kick it off what you what you got Last night I watched uh, Roadhouse. Oh, the new one. The new one. I watched it too. It was pretty good. good. I thought it was good, and I don't recall the original. Like I know I've probably seen it, oh, but I it's I it's got it's Patrick a... Swayze in it. I'm like I don't know. Yeah. I've, I don't know if I really ever watched it. Um, but no, I thought it was good. Conor McGregor's in it. He's yeah. a terrible actor. Terrible. Is he really? Yeah. yeah. Terrible. I had to wonder. Or he's, if he's just like so coked out of his mind well, that he's nailing these lines. That's kind of the character he plays. Yeah. yeah. He, he kind of plays himself if yeah, somebody but, was like, you know, paying him to go beat the shit out of people. Yeah, like he's yeah. kind of just. It's still just bad on yeah, Conor's he's, part. He, but I mean, they cast someone that plays a psycho pretty true, good. Yeah. Like he's just like. Unhinged. Uh, he never has a different expression on his face. He's just eh, just crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's got this crazy thick Irish accent. But I liked. Uh, it was a pretty good movie. I liked Post Malone's little five minute. Oh yeah, scene there. Totally Better believable like that Connors. he was such a tough guy. And I'm, <laughs> I'm looking at him. I'm like, they really have this guy fighting people. He's, he's such a sweetheart and a teddy bear. I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, that's how. what I thought. He seemed like a pretty chill dude. He's never thrown a punch in his life. I guarantee you. <laughs> No, yeah. he's too much of a nerd. He'd be doing it like a, a magic card or something, right? Like <laughs> <Yeah>. that's the thing. <laughs> He'll cast a spell on you before he throws a punch. He's just yeah. the nerd that got heavily tattooed. Yeah, yeah. that's it. You know, exactly. Yeah, he seems like a genuinely uh, pretty chill dude. So yeah. Yeah. yeah, he had scenes where in the beginning he's fighting some other dude that's way bigger than him, <clears throat> and they're throwing punches and yeah. stuff. And I'm like, the fight? looking at is that pre Malone? No, yeah. Post Malone. <laughs> Pre Malone. My wife's like, I don't know who that is. <laughs> Doesn't know who Post Malone. No, no. Is? For, like from scene, she's like, I don't know. Who is it? Uh, and her, like, yeah, yeah. Initially, didn't recognize him right away. She thought you were making up a name, like yeah. Post Malone. Good one. Yeah. <laughs> he does have like his head all shaved and everything. He, he yeah, looks yeah. like a brawler, but you know. He's yeah. Not. Yep. No, it was a pretty good movie. How about you? Um, <clears throat> well, how about you, uh, Ryan? Yeah. Have well, you uh, watched any movies recently, or? Tell us. Do you have a favorite movie you'd like to talk about? Favorite movie, but not not shows. <clears throat> no, no, uh, you know, 
No, what? What? <laughs> yeah, those yeah, kind of shows? Yeah, no, no, we'll uh, skip over on. those. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's for the other podcast that yeah, I'm yeah, on, yeah, right? Yeah, I can yeah, bring that yeah, up, yeah. show that side of yeah, it. Yeah, uh, some sort of X rated podcast. James. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Give okay, okay. What's your, um, yeah, what, what, go ahead. My favorite movies, <laughs> they're all older movies. Um, Jaws, obviously, if you've been in my booth, you know that Jaws is like, oh, you know, boy. shaped my fears as an adult. Oh, that's awesome. I, yeah. won't, I won't put any input on that. Because <laughs> you've never seen it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You've never seen Jaws? No. I've wow. already I've already got the, you know, the beat down for that. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> that, it, he, I won't make it worse. He has a, a, he has a poster, like, signed and everything. And oh, I was shit. Like, By yeah, who? Yeah, By Steven Spielberg, uh, John Williams, who did the music, Peter yeah. Benchley, who wrote it. Uh, Roy Scheider and Richard Dreyfuss. So the only wow. signature that isn't there is the actor who played Quint. Oh, I thought you were going to say the shark. <laughs> <laughs> the only signature I didn't get was Jaws himself. trying to place a Jaws marker himself. in its teeth so we can... Yeah. <laughs> I didn't have a signature. I, you know, with him being exploded and everything at yeah. the end of the film. Who's Bruce? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Jaws my favorite. Um, I watched that movie by accident, okay? So growing up, <laughs> I watched a lot of Shark Week. Okay. Okay, and fell in love with sharks. And then I'm at my my uh, grandmother's house, and I catching the last ten minutes of Jaws on on TV. Okay. Yeah. So I don't it's know. Pretty intense. Ten it's minutes. In, it's intense. He's fighting the shark. The boat is sinking and everything. Yeah. So uh, I don't know that this is a movie that I'm watching. I'm thinking this is the coolest episode of Shark Week ever, <laughs> and I can't believe that there's people recording this happening, and they're not helping this guy who's in a sinking boat fighting a shark. Like, get him out of here. <laughs> so then when the credits wow. roll, then I realize, oh, this is a movie, and then it says Jaws. I'm like, I just watched the end of Jaws. So I went back and watched them in reverse order. We rented them from uh, like the local library in Dartmouth. Okay. So cool. I watched Jaws rented the Revenge. Them. Jaws 3, Jaws 2, and then worked my way up to the greatest Jaws film. Yeah. So we started with the bar really low, which was maybe nice. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, probably a good thing. Work your way up. Yeah, because the fourth one, The Revenge, is, is horrible and should just be ejected yeah. from history, basically. Can I even go back and watch it, though, at this point? The original Jaws? I know you have an at issue with certain types of things, right? Um, yeah. Like special effects and how the movie is right it's kind of a long movie and if you're looking for a lot of in your face shark action you don't have that because if you know anything about how the movie was made the shark doesn't work for a lot of the filming (laughs) so steven spielberg had to be creative in how he showed the shark and made you feel that it was there and believe it So the, for a while, you're just kind of okay, okay. actually it reflects what you would see in the ocean. You wouldn't see a lot of the shark. You would just see these right. heinous attacks. Yeah. But not until like the third act of the movie. Do you really start seeing it leaping out of the water? And oh, okay, I think with okay. it not working actually helped. A that's, lot. that's what a lot of people say. That was like a, a, a secret blessing, basically. Yeah. You know? A blessing in disguise. Because when they made the shark, they tested it in water tanks in Universal Studios. Yeah. And it worked fine. So they didn't realize how rough the east coast ocean would be so that wore away at a lot of the pneumatics and hoses the salt ate away so that's really what made it not work so often so i'll have to tell you this my son my youngest son who's nine loves that movie yeah and we went to the woods hole oceanographic institute in woods hole falmouth yeah yeah and they play that movie outside like everybody like there's a bunch of people that sit and you know watch but most of the people there are like students and people that work for the oceanographic okay. institute yeah, yeah. so you're watching the movie and then you know oh uh, what's his name's character the guy that works for the oceanographic richard, Dreyfuss, yeah, richard yeah, yeah. hooper yes yeah, so, so hooper cuts on and anytime they mention woo, everybody goes yeah, crazy because yeah, yeah. they're like oh the oceanographic <laughs> they're all excited and we're like oh yeah that's where i am right now that that movie it's is freaky. the first summer blockbuster ever Wow, really? really? Just, yeah, for a little no film shit, history. Dude. Yeah, nice. so that movie like set records and competed with Star Wars <clears throat> within that same year. Oh wow! Yeah, Star so Wars. Yeah, that's a big cult following movie. I have to ask, how do, how does it? How, how, what about all these newer movies like the Megalodon or? All garbage jokes. Nothing compares. No, <laughs> jokes. no. You you take. Can I can I find like a newer version of Jaws that I can? Nah, dude. The okay. original Jaws. I I think it. I think it would. You'd be okay with it. Yeah. All yeah. Right. It's, All right. it's, you should okay. try it. And right. I know sometimes there's things that you watch with me that you probably wouldn't have liked if I wasn't there. Definitely. Like Dawn of the Dead. I remember when he came on here and was talking to Dawn of the Dead with you, which is one of my other favorite movies of all, all right, time, cool. the original. 
um yeah had you not like filled me in on like how it was made how it was and made and everything I, I probably wouldn't have been down for it but after you said that and like the dude was a great like director and filmer so like yeah uh watching it and of course i was high as a kite too but, <laughs> uh, it was a great movie i loved it i enjoyed it i wasn't even planning on watching it i was just yeah. we were just kind of hanging out i had it on in the background and, and then, then like we stopped talking and <laughs> five minutes in i was drooling like just watching this movie i was like this is sick dude yeah. like sick I, I think I think if you get high movies. enough, you'll like Jaws. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's it was at a time where it was practical special effects. Yeah, yeah. So it wasn't. There's no CGI. There's no like bad early '90s yeah, CGI yeah, or anything yeah. stupid like that. Well, that's like another movie I would say that you could watch today that still kind of holds up. And there's uh, Deep Blue Sea with LL Cool J and okay. Sam Jackson oh, and yeah. the guy who played the Punisher there with Thomas Jane. Oh, Thomas Jane. Okay, that oh. is a good movie. There's some parts in there where you're like that looks hokey, but like the movie is actually really really good. Um, and <laughs> The Shallows with Lave Bla- with Blake Lively. The Shallows. Yeah. Oh yeah. That, that that movie is movie. horrifying, and oh, the shark Lively. looks so good. In that. <laughs> so good, I will watch that with you anytime. Yeah. Seriously, yeah, I'll no, watch any movie. You know what? That is a good Sounds movie. Good. I forgot about that movie. Yeah, Sounds good. Nice. You introduced me to one of my all-time favorite movies, uh, Hobo with a Shotgun. Mm. That, mm. that I tried like, watching that. That's a glory. <laughs> you yeah. couldn't get through it. I watched a good portion of it, and can we watch it? Together? It was kind of like in pieces. Like I'd watch a little bit. Like, oh shit, uh, I got to go to work tomorrow. And I'll, I'll carry on what he's given to me. <laughs> okay. We'll watch it, and I'll, I'll all right. We'll That's share a the great same experience. Because <laughs> that started off as a like um, a trailer for the Grindhouse movies. Okay. Did you ever see those? Yes. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. That was one of those trailers in between the intermission, and then when they made that a real movie, I was like, "Oh my god, I have to watch." It. Same thing with Machete and yeah, stuff okay, like yeah, that. Yeah. So <laughs> that movie is low budget exploitation film, right. modern day to the max. It's beautiful. <laughs> the coloring in that movie is like a comic oh, book. It's beautiful. So good, yeah. Man. So good. It was very. Uh, yeah, it was very breathtaking. Yeah, yeah, let's put it that way. It's the way graphic it's, in so many yeah, ways. Right? Yeah, the way, the way it's vibrant. filmed, you're like, whoa, yeah, yeah very vibrant. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Good word. Thank you. Good word. I don't know a lot of words. <laughs> I try. I pull them out of the, the dusty old uh, dictionary. The old noggin. <laughs> so, uh, Jared, uh, movie. Oh, what yeah. Find? I didn't even say what movie I watched. Yeah. I watched. Talk about like. We want to know because it's a segue to the rest of the episode. Being very, uh, <laughs> I think that's long gone by this point. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no um, way. No, I watched the new animated Ninja Turtles. I think it's called like shell mayhem or monster may or turtle mayhem i don't know yeah mayhem but um something about turtles (laughs) yeah it was kind of like one of those movies i'm like i guess i have to watch it but it ended up being phenomenal like i loved it it had all the greatest villains it had bebop and rocksteady nice but most importantly the art style of it was super sick like i just could not stop watching it like it could the movie could have been about anything but because of that art style i was so gravitated towards it like everything is like scribbles and like it's like really messy art but it just works really well it comes together well okay. it comes together it's like so like the spider-verse well, movies kind yeah, of right similar like to they're that. not okay. afraid to play with the yeah. art style but it's like like into the spider-verse is more of like a comic book thing this is more of like literally hand drawn like messy like oh, cool it's so sick you have to watch it nice it's super good and even like the headlights on the cars are just like white scribbles, you oh, know? Oh so yeah, like, yeah, stuff like that. That's cool. So, all right, yeah. here's here's the next question: Have you seen the old Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movies? I did. I did. Like see the original, the live action. Yes, talking. like live action, yeah, yeah, yeah. real From life. From the nineties. Yeah, I yes. Did. There's yeah. guys that are like actually, you know, yeah. martial suits, artists, animatronic in suits. helmets. Yeah, yeah. for sure. I actually just saw like a recent picture pop up of like one of the scenes from the movie yeah and you can see the oh, dude's, see dude's face eyes. in the mouth yeah. in the mouth that's creepy <laughs> i thought that was thing. fake that is so creepy <laughs> yeah dude do you know if that's like really in that the movie? really is i yeah. thought it was fake and edited and edit i had it? to look it up and that is that is real oh wow <laughs> that's so sick that's scarier than anything in that movie it really is yeah, yeah. <laughs> i remember more so the third one specifically, Oof. The, sam- the-, the samurai, <laughs> Oof. the samurai one. Yeah, turtles in time. I think yes, so. yes, yeah, they yeah, go yeah. back in time to like samurai yeah. time, and I would have to. Yeah, watch. I remember that one too. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's Crash. the only turtles movie that I've seen once and never again. I haven't seen that <laughs> oh, really? since I lived in Fall River as a kid. Oh wow! So the first and the second are okay. 
They are godlike. They're not even okay. Even the second one. <laughs> the second one not is even potentially okay. oh better. Might be better in oh, certain ways. It gets right okay, to the action okay. right away. So that's the secret of the use, right? That's right. Yeah, and yeah. it's got uh, that bebop and rocksteady, right? Kind of well, in it, or a weird adaptation of them. So or? there's like a duo really? team up of mutated animals, but they're not. They're not, not called those names. Oh yeah, names, it's not bebop and, not, and rocksteady. It's not a yeah. rhino and a. It's not a rhino. Hog. Oh, they're That's just right. like a. One of them is a turtle. Kind of yeah, like one the... of them's like kind of a, like a snapping turtle, or something yeah, yeah, crazy. Yeah, He's a little right, more extreme. Yeah. He's got I remember spikes. that. I remember that. And then the other one's like a dog or something. So I guess it's I not remember. Bebop. Yeah, yeah. Say, yeah, but it's it's placeholders. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> placeholders exactly. <laughs> and also uh, Vanilla Ice sings, oh, <laughs> raps, and that. <laughs> what happened Ninja to that rap. guy? What happened to that guy? Ninja rap. He um. Is he in jail or something? No. Nah, he was building houses on HGTV, I think, <laughs> at he one just, point. He like, turned his life around. He's actually like a really nice, well-spoken <laughs> guy and has yeah. no problem dipping back into the old days of hip-hop and that's, everything. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, he's not out there getting sued by a queen anymore. You know? <laughs> he's moved on with his life. <laughs> that re- The Ninja Turtle movies, it reminds me of the... the Super Mario movie they did. Oh yeah, terrible! Like that's awful. The Bowser and that's the... unwatchable. Oh man! Oh, you guys didn't like that? <laughs> <laughs> with the the Bowser that they had, he it's was like bad. just some bald dude with like. Spikes oh, so I head. thought you were talking about the new one. Oh no, that movie oh, I was genuinely amazing. asking if you guys oh, really, no, really no, didn't no, like no, it. I'm like, oh, I feel like an idiot. From the, was it nine? It was oh eighties. yeah. Oh, the one with uh, John Leguizamo. Don't disrespect the nineties like 80s? that. Was the No, <laughs> I think. If Can I, we look it up real you're quick? You're talking about '89 at the if, yeah. If so. The one look it up. Early. Look it up. The one where it's um the that's dude an '80s movie. Who Frame Roger Rabbit? Yes. And John Leguizamo. Same yes. same guy. Yeah. Oh God, I almost. I almost stopped everything. <laughs> Keep talking. It's got to be. <laughs> Keep talking. Be. I don't feel like editing this episode. And then the <laughs> strangest part about that movie was the, the is it the Coop, Coopers? Yeah. They made the really big guys with the little tiny lizard heads. They look so Who dumb. thought of all that stuff? I don't know. You see it in a game and you're like, okay, that's how I'm going to put it in a movie? Yeah. All right. <laughs> That's and the so fact weird. that they could jump was a mechanism that they Damn had on their it. feet and legs and everything. What does it say? What does it say? No, it's, we can skip over this. We don't even need to. I can't, to I can't really. see the screen from here. It's really... 93. Oh, oh, yeah. So, yeah, that's well past the 80s by a few years. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Hey, close, buddy. Whatever, and it's got man. John Whatever. Leguizamo, Bob Haskins, who was the guy from oh, Roger Rabbit. Oh, Mario. That's awesome. And uh, Dennis Hopper. Yep. That is, was Bowser. Yeah, he was Bowser. Yeah, that was ridiculous. When was there a prostitute in the movie? I don't know, but they put it. They made wow. sure to say that that was in the. And I didn't know who cast. Toad was in the movie. Who the hell is this guy? Mojo Nixon. Yeah, we got to get a bigger TV so you could. I have a big TV. I just you can see it. We're gonna work that out. Don't know. To do. By the next time I come back here, <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have. It'll be totally different. Way better. Well, uh, they might have a ceiling from the. <laughs> <laughs> Bring the projector. From button. That's Club. true. Thank that's you. true. I could do that. I could do that. Nice. Um. Yeah, man. Yeah, that movie was terrible. I right? really thought that was 80s. I really did. It's okay. It's all right. Oh, man. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> Should be used to being wrong by now. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I get it. You know, praise me and then crush yeah, me down. Yeah, I get course. it. I yeah, get yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, get this get guy you. out of here. Yeah, that, that's how it works. <laughs> He's the new co host. Ryan, Ryan, <laughs> Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. <laughs> I just sit here. Hi, my name is Jerry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whatever man oh man pop culture reference i have no idea what you're talking about <laughs> sometimes i watch these and i'm like jared oh, i can't like i, I forget what he doesn't know i know even recently playing tekken i'm like oh i'm saying wrestling moves or the people that would do the wrestling moves that his character does yeah and i was like wait did you never watch wrestling growing up he's like no i couldn't it's like, i don't know oh, shit like, about wrestling yeah. all these great things when i say marty Janetti, what do you think of I don't know. I I didn't watch a lot of wrestling, so... Get off your own show. (laughs) (laughs) I have one thing that I remember from my childhood about wrestling, and that is just one specific wrestler. Jake the Snake was the devil. And his name was Rikishi. I think. Oh, okay. Rikishi, yeah, yeah, the yeah. ass man, the guy who just shoved his ass in everyone's face. <laughs> what? I was like, oh, is that the that's big wild. Guy? No yeah. wonder why. He like a and big... he's related to Roman Reigns and all that. That's like a okay. part of the family. Oh, really? Right. Yeah. Oh. So you know who Roman Reigns is? No, I have no okay. idea. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> See? <laughs> 
<laughs> sounded so good for a second. <laughs> right. Oh, you don't say. What, what was the name? What did, what did you just say a minute ago before? It was like Mario or something? Was that? Oh, Marty Janetti. Marty Janetti. Marty. Marty. Yeah, like Martin. Okay. I know Hulk Hogan. Hulk, Hulk Hogan. Hulk. Hulk. Yeah. Hulk. Hulk. Like H. There's a K in there. W H O L E. Hole. And then Kogan. The K silent. <laughs> Hulk Hogan. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. He's going to go to a party next week. Wait, like, so what is it? No, it's Hulk Hogan. My buddy told me. <laughs> No, you're right. It is Hulk Hogan. Yeah, I feel Hulk. like I'm all up on wrestling Hulk, now. Sh- just kind of like go talk the about big it. green guy Hulk. Hulk but... Same thing. Same thing. Same name, yes. <laughs> this looking guy. At me like, you son of a this bitch. This guy. <laughs> you son when of a bitch. <laughs> when I was talking to a client recently, we were talking about Hulk Hogan. They were talking about uh, 2K, the new wrestling game. And they were saying okay. how there were different versions of every wrestler. So one of them is Hulk Hogan, but he didn't understand who Hollywood Hogan was. Okay. So Hollywood Hogan is when he leaves WWF at the time. Right. And then uh, joins WCW, but they couldn't they wouldn't let him take Hulk with him. Oh. So to change to Hollywood Hogan, which is because he was trying to and aspire would, to be in movies at the is, time. Yeah, his color was, was like black and gray, right? Because it was the NWO times, black and white. Yeah, and yeah, he had, yeah, he had like a five o'clock shadow that was like, like brushed black. on. Yeah, yeah was, with his blonde it's mustache. Supposed to be like the edgy Hulk it was, Hogan. Yeah, it was like yeah. a tight. He went heel. He became the bad guy. Uh, yeah, so that's when right. he 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 comes into the WCW <laughs> like he's gonna save it from the NWO, right? This this new. Um, you know, faction. And then the yeah. night that he joins the faction, that's the first time he ever went heel. So this people, you can see it in uh, on video, throwing everything that they can to the ring. They're hitting um, wow, Scott really? Hall in the head with a full soda. There's trash everywhere. They're so mad that <laughs> really? their hero went heel. It's a beautiful moment. Really, it's really, a beautiful really moment. Really, it's pretty cool. That's wild. Yeah, yeah. I didn't, see, yeah, I'm not really up on wrestling i don't know who marty Janetti is Janetti oh, what is. the hell man i know <laughs> would you tell this man who he is enlighten yeah, him you you he's a guy with the green spandex you know what i'm saying it's got the is lightning bolts on very, the side. very well good wow. blanketed turn there <laughs> i like that yeah he had the boots he did the wrestling moves you know he cut the, the tall boots with the yeah, laces yeah, on them yeah. yeah you know his signature move off the top rope oh all right yeah yeah, yeah. which was what the uh, <laughs> ddt <laughs> and he would do this thing where he runs to one side of the ring, bounces off the ropes, yeah. and you know That's goes it. back. He invented that. That's it. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it. Oh, wait. I just had another character pop up. Ooh. Ooh, who's who's the sock guy? I remember oh, the sock Socko. guy. <laughs> yeah, Socko. Yeah. Oh, well, who's From, the wrestler? Then? Oh, uh, he was. Um, is that was it? Mick. It's, no. uh, Mick Foley is the r- real uh, like wrestler's name, and then he was Mankind at the time in WWF. Mankind, Mankind. That's what and it then is. he yeah. had like alter egos. Wasn't where, he like the, uh, some sort of hippie dude? Um, no. Dude Love, Dude Love, All and right. and Cactus Jack, Cactus Jack, <laughs> which wow. was his like hardcore persona. Well, that's I mean, wild. I, I mean, kind of hardcore, but that's wild. Yeah, to be faceted individual. <laughs> I can't imagine you know being a wrestler and working on your image so hard to be like I have four. This other guy's like, I can't get, I can't, I can't yeah, I can't, I can't nail even one. Get my one. And like, the one that's going off for this guy, he puts a sock on his hand and chokes people with it. Like, I'm over here late night thinking of ridiculously cool yeah, yeah. things. This guy shows up to work with a sock and he kills it. I've gone through five haircuts this year. Yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah, what yeah. to do. Yeah. Spends like five hours in makeup because he has all this crazy paint. <laughs> yeah. All he needed was this, this a sock. guy comes out with his sleeves cut off and a. <laughs> and underwear. Yeah, right? underwear. underwear and boots. Yeah. So do you still follow wrestling? I follow it. <laughs> on a it's like superficial level i don't watch it week to week but i follow wrestling like podcasts or news like, like right, cool. uh, yeah news reporters that'll put things out on my instagram and stuff so i get to see who's doing what but a lot of it because of social media it loses yeah. the yeah. the kayfabe fourth wall so you know when so and so comes out and and in the show they're dating but then yeah. on their social media, you see who they're really married to. It's a different wrestler yeah, or, all, you know, yeah. they're off vacationing. Yeah, here, you've, so. you've been in, introduced to reality. Yeah. yeah. And that, so it kind of takes it. away uh, Cause like, a lot. Growing up with Stone Cold, you're like, who is this guy? Does he just live on a ranch and stun <laughs> goats for fun, fun or his cows? Like, this, like, what is this guy really about? <laughs> and then, you know, nowadays you would you would know more about a wrestler than that. So, yeah, yeah you'd see him like at an adoption place with yeah. animals. The like puppies. he's like helping people adopt <laughs> yeah, dogs and shit. He's all nice <laughs> meanwhile you you really think he's on a farm yeah he, when he beer. plays the heel or something yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
How, right. do, how do you yeah. feel about the Paul brothers? Logan Paul being in wrestling okay. now. Okay, we were talking about this the other day with a client also. Yeah. I think um, it's Logan Paul is the older brother, Logan right? Paul's in, in Jake wrestling. Paul is he's Jake wrestling. Paul is the one that's yeah. doing the boxing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think he's doing great. I think he needs to stick with wrestling. He's bringing more hype to it, he's, I feel. He has an athletic <clears throat> ability that for someone who hasn't been doing it that long yeah. is amazing. He can talk that shit on the mic. People mm. love him and hate him because of who he is. Yeah. And uh That's perfect for wrestling. It really is. And yeah. like some of the f- battles that he's had recently, they were doing insane things, like really high level um, you know, gymnastic like antics. Yeah. He fought Rey Mysterio Jr. recently. Uh, I think it was one of his last matches. It might have been his retirement match. And Rey Mysterio bounces off the ropes and goes to like do a backflip moonsault. And he under-rotates. And had Logan Paul not been there to catch him and then counter with a big move, I did see he that. would have fallen on his head and could have ended his career right then and there. Yeah, I saw were saying. that So video. like, yeah. th- the fact that he was that aware <laughs> of the situation to save Ray and, and yeah. make it out to be this counter yeah. move is, is really cool. So I'm all for yeah, it. The other brother, I don't care. But Logan Paul, let's yeah. go. That's yeah. why I ask because like, he gets so much hate. But like all the clips I've seen of it are pretty intense. Yeah. And like even for it to be like a show... He really like takes it to a next level mm-hmm. for sure. Off the top I rope think. bumps yeah. and onto the tables and mm-hmm. everything. He's doing things. So yeah, I think that's cool. That's serious business. That's right. Cool man. I would not be able to do any of that. Oh my no god. Guys. Yeah, me neither. I got asthma. <laughs> <laughs> where's that? Where's that inhaler? Real quick. Let me get it. Oh, you yeah. want some? <laughs> <laughs> Let me give some of that. Some of that. It's improved. It's infused. <laughs> it's infused. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man! Yeah. Meanwhile, the doctor's like, "Yeah, I really don't recommend that. Don't, <laughs> don't do that. That's not an inhaler. You probably yeah. shouldn't be doing that." <laughs> what I do is I take a puff of it this way, then I turn it and I yeah. light it. <laughs> there you <laughs> go. <laughs> Let's go. Sick pipe you gave me, doc. That's an inhaler. It's both. <laughs> Open your mind, yeah, doc. Yeah, doc. Yeah, you're one way of thinking. <laughs> Can't find that in a medical book. <laughs> It's funny because I have a doctor's appointment on Tuesday. <laughs> cool. Doctor's appointments are awesome. So I'm going to hit him up. He's going to be like, here, hit this pen. Now yeah. cough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, shit. So what do you guys want to do now? <laughs> <laughs> Just like, um, this is great. Are we ready for odd question? No? Uh, yeah, still got sure. Some more time? You know what? I think we... How long have we been doing this for already? It's been, it's, it's we're been like 40 good, minutes uh, deep. 42 minutes and 14 told you, seconds told you we're just having we're just vibing baby so i could do this all day when we're done <laughs> with this shit. can we just keep the headphones on and keep talking yeah. to yeah, each man, other we'll just yeah. keep going <laughs> yeah we can just uh do two episodes yeah <laughs> that's true too actually <laughs> And then you can leave for one. And we can oh, just, I get it. Oh, yeah, I get yeah. it. You piece of And then I can leave for one. <laughs> Try it out. <laughs> just keep... All right, what are we doing? Where am I? Let's do it. What I feel I... like because all three of us are going to have to answer Jesus. the question. Why did I get so, so many emails today? Jesus. Sheesh, man. All right. So I got an odd question emailed to us. Are you ready for odd questions? This isn't the one. This I is... think so. Are you ready for odd questions? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, that's on the top. Yeah, there you go. I didn't get that many emails today. I thought I got, I, I thought I got all those emails oh, after man. you. The bold said, you ones know, are the new you ones. You thought, you thought. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all, all right, right. Jared. There we go. It's, it's all you, buddy. We, we, let's change the color up. Oh, you want to change? Yeah, the color? we have to. Oh, yeah. It's part we of tradition. To. It's part of the tradition. Dude. What color do we want? We have every color in the we rink. We have cup holders, bro. <laughs> Yeah, man. You've just, had your drinks on the, the table this whole time. You know what? I didn't even think of that. <laughs> you know what the worst part we... is? This is the same couch I gave you to bring to the shop. Not so I should have known it was there. <laughs> it's the same thing. It's the same. Oh, it's green. Is green good for odd questions? Green's good. Green for the money, gold Green's for the golden. money. Oh, yeah, shit. Baby. <laughs> yeah, boy. All right, here we go. Please remain anonymous because I'm a scaredy cat. Oh, that's okay. You're you're fine. You're good. He's Whatever. a Matt the cat. <laughs> yeah, I'm a Matt. I'm a Matt the cat. They asked if you could travel to any fictional world from a book or movie, which one you would you choose and why? Whoa, that's a good one. That's a big one. That's a deep question. Oh, who's going first? It's good. It's big and it's deep. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Wait, we got to reply first. Sounds like a fun night. <laughs> Turn that color to pink real quick. <laughs> <laughs> we'll let the guests choose the 
the answer, the quick response here. We got absolutely with an exclamation point. We got, of course oh, I yeah. will, period. Or, okay, I will, period. Wait, what were those that you just read? Those are answers? <laughs> They're These like quick answers that we quick send. Quick answers oh, that oh, oh. we like to send people an email yeah, we send it back. to confuse them. Okay, so one more so time. So pick the most confusing one you can possibly What are my options of. again? You got absolutely, yeah. exclamation point. Of course I will, just a period. <laughs> I don't know why these things matter, but they do. And okay, comma, I will, period. I don't know, man. That's a shit luck of the draw. I know. Number I know. three. Not the best. Number three. Perfect. Shit. Perfect. Yeah, okay. That's the one I was going to go for. Send. <clears throat> All right. So who's uh, kicking this one off? I'll do it, I guess. Good. I need so, some. So, yeah, yeah. I'll give you guys some time because I know you'll have better answers time. than me. No. So, uh, <laughs> if you could travel to any fictional world... From a book or a movie, oh. which one would you choose, yeah. and why? <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'm gonna pick Star Wars. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pick. Um, I'm trying. To, you fucking guys. <laughs> I don't know. It's is that seemed... what you were going for? Is that what? You... No. Oh, okay. No. I know Star Wars, bro. He doesn't. Honestly. He hates Star Wars. Oh, apparently. you hate Star Wars. I don't know. I just guessing All right. from his reaction. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> I didn't realize it came out as dry as it did when I saw so now... it. <laughs> so here's the thing. So I, I don't know where exactly this. Oh, okay. You know, a lot of worlds. There's a lot of things. worlds, planets. In a trying to find the one that I'm least likely to die in. Uh, what about the <laughs> desert one with that big old thing that comes out with all the teeth? Oh, yeah, yeah. he'll definitely survive that. Yeah, the Dune thing. Yeah. The thing from Dune. Yeah, is that where you want to The thing go? they stole from oh. Star Wars, yeah. <laughs> we the won't sand, talk about that. Yeah, the sand know. creature thing. Um, <laughs> whatever it's called. <laughs> sarlacc? Big old it's a sarlacc pit. snake. Wow. <laughs> big old snake. <laughs> it's that big old hairy snake. <laughs> Is this another reference I'm missing? <laughs> no. Oh, you guys are No, I'm just saying weird things with weird voices, like I always do. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I guess I'm going to pick a Star War. And, is, it um, the, is it the lightsabers that do it for you? Yeah, I think I just, you know. Well, pew pew. What's the name of that planet? Alderaan. Wow. No, that's not Alderaan. I'm looking at you, but don't, you're like, I don't fuck know you, why. man. Yeah, I don't know. I, What's you're the... like, you could go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, I don't know what you're talking about. What's that fat slug guy? Jabba the Hutt. Jabba the Hutt. Yeah. That's a pretty cool cool spot he's got there. Yeah, that's all him. that same planet. That's that's probably Oh, it's all cool. the same? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. uh that that's that. I feel like I picked the wrong thing. I picked a bad thing. No, man. Now I'm good. embarrassed. You should have made you all wait. The... <laughs> <laughs> Edit this out. We'll get back to you <laughs> no, later. <laughs> no, all the Star Wars fans are. You well, get... you know, my kids, my my son likes Star Wars. Yeah, and but... Godzilla, which I was a big, I, I was pumped to find that yeah, out yeah. about one of the episodes. Yeah, he loves Godzilla. He yeah. knows about all the Godzillas, all the the ones from like Japan and stuff. Like he watches the old movies that are like dubbed and he's up. like, ah, I don't really like this one. I have to read. I'm like, well, yeah. <laughs> Reading for nerds. Like yeah, Jared. reading is fun. Yeah, <laughs> fuck reading. <laughs> Why read when you can play a video game and actually yeah. live it? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, on. my answer is kind of lame, to be honest with you. Can't be more lame than mine. What are we looking up here? I'm just looking up that planet. Oh, cool, Because cool, I don't cool, know cool. the name of it. and <laughs> It's bothering the hell out of me. You're never going to find it. <laughs> you're never gonna get it. <laughs> you're never gonna get it. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll start my answer. Okay. While you're doing that. Yeah. Sure. Is that cool? Yes. So Tatooine. That's it. Oh, Tatooine. I know. I should have known that. I've known I that. Know when that. I'm right here. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> so I should have known that because we, my son has like a, a Star Wars book, and we'd read it with him, and I'd be like in the other room, my wife's reading to him, and she's like Tatooine. Tatooine. She would like say it funny, and I'm like, <laughs> she says it so fancy. Yeah, <laughs> between is that where the pod racing was too? All the pod I racing. I believe so. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty pretty crazy planet. It's got that cool bar with the yeah. funny so you've guys. You've seen Star Wars? That's amazing. I had I grew up <laughs> on amazing. Star Wars. Wow. I didn't Whoa. decide I hated it until like I was like eighteen, nineteen. It was your rebellious oh. phase when all like the newer ones started coming out. I was like, no. Well, this shit's you're garbage. right for hating that. Yeah. <laughs> I just got sick of all like the pea shooters. They pew, I'm, you know, pew, 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 I'm just like the old ones. I'm, yeah. I'm the original trilogy. Yeah, that's what I like. The rest of them are take it or leave it. Yeah, I'm not like man. I really love young Anakin. 
You know, you guys are like, this fucking guy's lame. He likes Star Wars. No, I think we are the uh, minority here against you. So you'll get all the other people, all the other Star Wars fans, you know. Because a lot of people come to the shop and be like, oh, I want to get the Star Wars tattoo. And you know about this, this, and that. I'm like, nah, man. I don't yeah. know nothing about that. I get that. shit on a lot for now. And they're like, what kind of nerd are you? And I shake you. <laughs> I'm like, I need you to tell me all the information because you're not going to get any, unfortunate, like, helpful input on this. You know, oh, you should do this because so-and-so said this in episode three. Yeah, dude, For sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So... Do it, man. Send it. The anticipation <laughs> is killing me. I think uh, <laughs> this is actually a fairly recent watch for me, so it's kind of surprising. But I loved it so much that, yeah, that's where I want to be. And it was RoboCop. Wow. wow. You want to be in Detroit. I loved, like, the, the run-down city, but with, like, the semi-futuristic cars and, like, the 80s <laughs> vibe. But, like... <laughs> But the cars were still so, like, a little futuristic. I just loved it. I loved, like, that... The darker, creepier, but what they thought was futuristic environment. <laughs> and it sucks okay. that here in 2024... There's not a single flying car anymore. Dude, we don't do no anything. Do you remember the movies it's, that are like, 2020, this shit's going to be crazy. Bro, it's the I, same. <laughs> I see memes that are like, in the 80s, looking at the future, and it's all these things, and it's like, what we do in 2024, look at the 80s, and wish we were there, you know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, it's, yeah, it's really funny. Exactly. You know, Robocop from the 80s, <clears throat> they're like, this dystopian Detroit. Yeah, And man. it's worse now than Dark, what they crunchy. thought it was going to be. <laughs> now it's just abandoned, right? Detroit? It's actually better than, yeah, that movie's better than what it is now, yeah, I think. Yeah, exactly. Well, I wanted to say like it's like crack houses like, everywhere. I wanted to say <laughs> like Detroit. Blade Runner, but I've never seen Blade Runner, so like. Okay. <laughs> but I've also I, never seen Terminator. But from ah oh, fuck Terminator, dude. Then that bothers me. <laughs> See, because like if we were to have a debate, the RoboCop versus Terminator debate. Terminator. That's another episode. <laughs> yeah, that's a whole. <laughs> Terminator has like the futuristic '80s vibe. Uh, well, not, not like it does in that because like Terminator is from the future stuff. and then comes back to what is present day. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah. So he's so from they the just future. have present day. But and it has Arnold in The it, clips so you see of the, of the future, watch your mouth. <laughs> 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 the clips you see of the future are even more grim than Detroit. Uh, oh, yeah, RoboCop, absolutely. Okay? Yeah. Mountains okay. of Skulls, they got that in Detroit in RoboCop? <laughs> oh, no, I don't they think don't think so. Wow. Mountains of Skulls being crushed by Robo. Tanks, people, yeah, yeah. They're okay. Same. Terminators, get on my level. Now I'm gonna have to go back and watch <laughs> yeah. it all. Yeah, again. we'll watch it together because yeah. that'll guarantee. <laughs> he was that you so upset. It. He Robo was so upset that I watched like 20 minutes yeah. and shut it off. It's like T800s everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> He's like Arnold Schwarzenegger's naked. <laughs> Like it's not a porno, bro. Like, what do you mean? It's like for like five seconds of the movie. Yeah, that that Jared took him out. out. That's it. I'm out. Yeah, and he oh. heard his voice. I was like, dude, I hate it. He's like, you gave it 20 minutes. You can't even. You're not even like. I need, your, show, I need your shoes and your jacket and your bicycle. <laughs> I can't do it. As soon as he and opens motorcycle. his mouth. As soon as bicycle. he opens his mouth, I'm done. I can't do it, dude. I can't do it. I'm sorry. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for Okay, me. so we RoboCop, Robo dystopian. Cop, dystopian, grungy, but still semi-futuristic. Maybe some neon lights, you know? That, that's Definitely my shit. neon lights. That's my shit, yeah. <laughs> Definitely neon Definitely. lights. That's yeah. A that's a prerequisite. <laughs> oh, man, I wish I could change my answer. <laughs> nope, you're a Star what Wars guy. What would it be guy. if you can? Real nope, quick. Nope, he's be? a Star Wars guy. Uh, <laughs> um, Total Recall Mars. Okay. All right. I don't know that. So I, I've never seen a lady with three boobs, and I feel yeah. like there's... oh, you got to go to Tijuana. <laughs> 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 there's this place called Lord Blacks. Okay, right? It's right oh, the strip. Yeah, you ever been to nice. a strip club in New Bedford? <laughs> <laughs> nope. Good. All right, Ryan. Oh, so <laughs> on that note, mine might be. Uh, doesn't reach the same heights as yours, okay? okay. As, as yours, as, this, very, as dystopian very Detroit. There. Mine's more grounded and down to earth. Okay, okay. okay. Um, Rock with that. I would like to. It's it's split between two shows, but it's all kind of in the same location. Okay, I'd want to be in Canada. Okay. And either living in Letterkenny, Canada. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> that yeah. world just. I love it. Or it would be in the trailer parks with the trailer park boys. Okay. Like I want to go to Canada 
and I want that place to be real, and I don't want them to be actors. I want to pull up on this trailer park and be like, <laughs> you want Bubbles, be- how many cats do you have now? What's what's Ricky up to now? Julian, can I have a sip of your drink? Like, <laughs> nice. I want to live in those worlds because those just seem so wholesome and Canada's so beautiful and green Canada everywhere. Is, and, true. Yeah. yeah, that's where Canada I would go. Is beautiful. Nice choice. Nice choice. Nice. I dig very it. Very good. Very good. I dig it. What, what was the first thing you said, though, before trailer park? Letter Kenny. Letter Kenny. Oh. Have you never seen that show? No, I haven't. No, it like just came to an end recently, but it's really, really good. If I explain the premise, it doesn't sound good at all. <laughs> Why did I always think that was like an adult cartoon? It's I not. Don't know. No, it's live action. It's live action. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and it's like made by really enthusiastic up and coming filmmakers. So when oh, you sick. get to see how some of that's made in these characters, because I've seen like podcasts where they're being interviewed, it's really, really interesting. Like it's like a, it's like a Seinfeld almost. And it's yeah. all of, and it's like Quentin yeah, it's Tarantino. Very, it's very real life. Just it's very real yeah. life, but it's all about like dialogue and how they say things and repetition being funny. So these jokes keep coming back up, yeah. and by the tenth time, you think it'd be dead, but it's actually even funnier because of the situation. Yeah, because of the situation, just is, really cool. went right to it. Yeah, yeah. Yep. it's a comedy. Yeah, I've seen Letterkenny. Yeah. I've never watched Trailer Park Boys like episodes. Mm. You know what I mean? I've only seen, seen clips, right? clips and yeah. funny things from that show. I'm like, man, I should it's really just hilarious. watch this. And some of it's so old. <clears throat> Their first few seasons are when TVs were square and not oh, even, really? you really? know, wide HD, you know, rectangular like TVs, image. Yeah. So when you go back, you can catch it all on Netflix yeah, right yeah. now. But the first few seasons are absolute gold. And then it does this for a little bit. And then by the end of it, some of it's just kind of so ridiculous. Yeah. For me, it gets a little hard to watch, but how great many, characters. You know, you know what that remi- seasons like Eight seasons plus maybe. Oh, I wow. Think. Oh, damn. You know what that reminds me of? And I meant to bring this up earlier is... Um, I was watching X Men all morning with my kids. The new one. I've been watching, rewatching the old one. Sick. Kind of first to lead into it. My kids left it on after I left the room, so I don't know if they were paying attention or not. It's but great stuff. Same thing. It was square, and my sons. I'm like, hey, do you notice that it's square? And he's like, what? <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, it's a black on the end of the end of the yeah, screen. Yeah, they didn't do the. And I'm like, just screen, so right? you know, <laughs> I'm like, TVs were square, and he's yeah. like. Oh, he's like, is that why yeah. it's like that? And some of the movies, I'm like, yep, yep. And that's it, buddy. Well, I remember think, too when you had it. to when you bought the DVDs, it, you had to make sure you got the widescreen version. Yeah, right? yeah, exactly. Because it would stretch yeah. the image DVD? and stuff. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. You had to like find the widescreen version because it was better. Even like the early episodes of The Sopranos were were like that. Oh, also really? Square. If you go back yeah. and watch, it's crazy stuff. I just started that recently. Sopranos. From scratch? You've yeah, never from seen it before? Start, yeah, oh, from start. Oh, yeah, Sopran- yeah. Sopranos. Some people dip out towards a certain part of it, but, like, yeah. if you're... I love mobster stuff. That was going to be my third movie is Goodfellas. Okay. Uh, anytime okay. that's on, that's a must-watch. <laughs> so if you like that sort of stuff, and there's a lot of Goodfellas references and actors in there. Yeah, I do. Like, the therapist like is stuff. the main uh, actress in Goodfellas. Oh, right. The kid that gets his uh, foot shot by... Um, mm-hmm. Uh, what's the face there? Oh, Joe Pesci. Joe Pesci is uh, yeah, yeah. is um, <laughs> is Anthony and in, in, small uh, Italian guy. I'm like you know, the Sopranos. Yeah. <laughs> DeVito, Eventually Pesci. you'd get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I would have got there. One or two tries later. <laughs> nice. Yeah, man. So this is the end of the show. No. And it, um, it's a wrap. Ryan, you have anything you want to tell people to do? Like follow you on social media or okay. or you know Discord or give your, YouTube. Give your shouts. Yeah, give give your, give you shout outs to yourself. First thing you need to do is start playing fighting games. That's it. Okay, <laughs> start playing fighting games, and you will learn so much about yourself and how you learn, how to think, and how to overcome obstacles. And you can make great great friends out of it. So I highly recommend that. With that being said, <laughs> you can find me on Twitter v e e underscore famous. Um, my handle on there is Shadow Fury. Uh, that's my gamer tag. Period. Um, check out Button Club FGC also on Twitter. Please go to the YouTube and Button Club FGC at YouTube. We've got a ton of content on there. We've got podcasts. We've got tournaments, unboxings, live so many streams. things. Yeah, live streams, yeah. reviews. So we're trying to you know get a, a full blanket of FGC coverage for yeah. the masses um and then you can find me at famous tattoos ma.com so if you're interested in getting tattooed by me looking for some sweet black and gray goodness you can you know hit us up on there or at gmail yeah. and book an appointment i do book out pretty far i'm about three months out my saturdays are into june right oh. now so if you're not a patient 
uh, <laughs> client, I might not be the guy for you. So, yeah. uh, if you very want nice. High quality it. black and gray. Yep. That's right. Shout out to my patience. family and Alicia, there my wife, go. who makes my whole world spin. Oh, Aww. very nice. <laughs> cool. I think that was it. That That's was all it, of it, man. right? That's it. I'm going to say my words now. Go for it. Do your thing. Thank you. <laughs> you can support the show by clicking on the link in the description of the show. Go check out the social media. Yep. Instagram, Facebook for some reason. TikTok, <laughs> well, it still exists. Join Jared's Discord. Yeah, do Go it. Go find um, Odd People Podcast on Reddit. Yeah, do that. What's the Discord thing? Uh, just, just contact see, Jared. Just send me a message. <laughs> send Jared a message. <laughs> Go to oddpeoplepodcast.com for all your podcast needs. Go follow Redbubble Link to buy merch. Thank you for listening to the show today. <laughs> stay creative, stay inspired, and as always, stay, stay stupid. Idiot. <laughs> stay <laughs> odd. Peace. <laughs>